Russia has offered to rescue the UK from rising energy costs by increasing gas supplies and said it was in no hurry to reach net zero emissions. Russia's ambassador Andrei Kellin also denied that the country is withholding gas supplies, appearing to suggest commitments to increase supply will take time to take effect. The Russian ambassador to the UK also said that it is his understanding that no decision has yet been taken in Russia as to whether President Vladimir Putin will attend the COP26 climate conference being hosted in Glasgow from the end of October. It comes after Putin accused European leaders of being out of their minds as he denied withholding gas from the continent as a geopolitical weapon. The Russian president insisted his country has always kept the taps into Europe open, including during the Cold War, and dismissed any suggestion that he is throttling supplies as complete nonsense. Asked on BBC One's Andrew Moore show if Russia understands the pressures of gas supply and price increases on people in Europe and the UK, Mr Kellen said Russia is following the situation, but appeared to play down the significance of the issues in the UK. However, he also suggested Russia will come to the rescue if needed despite only about 2% of the UK's gas coming from the country. Mr Kellen said, if it will be an opportunity we will come to rescue, we will do what we can of course to alleviate difficult conditions which are now being created. The ambassador said Russia has increased gas supplies to assist Europe amid a global increase in prices, but also argued the country could do more if the controversial Nord Stream 2 pipeline were to be approved. He also told the BBC that Russia has increased gas supplies to Western Europe, and cited two different figures, an increase of both 10% and 15%. Asked if Russia is withholding supplies for political reasons, the ambassador said, certainly we do not withhold it for political reasons. He said Russia has increased gas supply to Western Europe through Ukraine by 10%, but added that the pipeline cannot increase capacity further. He said the Nord Stream 2 is ready to operate and that he expects Germany will give the new pipeline the go-ahead. The new 764-mile pipe runs across the Baltic Sea to Germany, bypassing Ukraine, but has sparked opposition from the US and many Eastern European countries worried about energy security and climate goals. Asked whether Russia should aim for net zero quicker than 2060, Mr Kellen said, We are not very much in a hurry, we do not want to jump. We do not believe that putting artificial goals and not very much calculated goals will help. Mr Kellen's comments follow claims that Russia has been limiting gas supplies in a bid to prod regulators in Europe into moving quickly to certify the controversial new pipeline. Last week, Government Minister Lord Agnew of Olton said spiraling energy costs were nothing to do with supply shortages, but were due to a geopolitical move by Russia to put pressure on Europe. Challenged by Andrew Marr that there is no evidence in publicly available data that Russia has increased supply through Ukraine by 
Mr. Kellen said he is not a specialist in that area, but added, gas travels at not the speed of light of course, it goes very slowly by that. So what do you expect? Once the president has said, we will supply more gas, and tomorrow prices will go down? This is not possible. Ask if Russia is doing everything it can to get more and cheaper gas to Western Europe, Mr. Kellen said Nord Stream 2 would help to address those issues. And asked if it gas supplies will increase from November 1st whether or not Nord Stream 2 is granted approval, Mr. Kellen said, I simply do not know. But we have, as I said, we increase it by 15% right now. Elsewhere in the interview the Russian ambassador insisted BBC News correspondent Sarah Rainsford, who was expelled from Russia earlier this year, can return to the country if visas are granted to Russian journalists to work in the UK. The uncertainty over whether Putin will attend the COP26 climate conference in Glasgow comes as the organizers of the summit are embroiled in controversy after companies attacked it as mismanaged, reports The Guardian. The summit's sponsors, which include Sky, Sainsbury's, NatWest, and Unilever, have attacked the shifting goalposts in government planning and complained about very inexperienced civil servants for delayed decisions and poor communication between the organizers and firms. A source said that planning was deeply frustrating, adding, they had an extra year to prepare for COP due to COVID, but it doesn't feel like this time was used to make better progress. Everything feels very last minute. Advertisement